族がいれば人は無力な存在ではないんだ Hey everyone, this is Nitro. So, in the last video of Endless Voyage, I cleared tiers 1 to 4, and it looks like there's actually 20 tiers in total. Tier 20 passed to clear everything. Um, in any case, though, let's continue with this uh, Endless Voyage because there are a lot of people who have already done it, clearly, and I am so far behind right now. In any case, Let's set sail, continue my voyage, and grab, of course, the SSR accessory. So next up is weapon vaults. So I think I'm going to keep going for weapons right now because I really do need a set of gear for everyone that I use, at least the five characters I plan to use for now. Right? So let's get into the next weapon vault for another random piece of equipment. Probably going to go for two different weapon vaults and then continue from there. So now, at this tier, you do continue to face it off against five enemies. Nothing really unique about this, I, I suppose. And... I'm just trying to see... If... Yeah, let's just set up like this. And begin. So let's have Joshua toss a hack of Gorin. And Shafinia can probably hit the back two with Acid Burns. Killing off one of them. Landius will guard. And I think that's pretty much it. Guess even if I move. Actually, yeah. Why don't I move up? And act again, Ares, so you can kill off maybe this bishop right away. Whoa! Mine was tanky enough to barely, barely survive. So I'm not going to complain, but that was unexpected. I really thought they would target a sobering group. <laughs> I'll take it. If I didn't have... Ooh. My George Feathered Crown. Ellers bow again. I don't want the Ellers. None of this is good gear for me. Not at all. Right? Rather than toilet armor, I want last rites, for example. Suppose I could get an Ullers just in case I need it. Might be better than the other option. And just go into the next weapon vault. I think right now what I really need to get is better weapons. Prioritize that. And these enemies are pretty far away, so. Why don't I just have Landius tank the hit from the unicorn and then, then crush them after? As long as I stay out of range, these enemies, I'll be fine. 
Just need to make sure I'm out of range of the sorcerers. Forget. For a second strike. Let's have Ares smash the assassin. And then That one is expected. Another battle clear. Tenyos. Tenyos robe, goddess left hand. I think I'll go for goddess left hand. Right. My mages should not be getting attacked. So prioritize healing output or damage output. There we go. Rihanna is mostly set. Right. Shafiniel could use an accessory. Landius needs a weapon still. Oh, might as well give him the chief's helmet. Forgot to equip that. I had that for a while now. Allers reduces my damage, so I don't think it's actually worth bringing. And I do have currently a plunder skill and eclipse. But I'll wait on both. So it's looking pretty good. Let's go to the next stage. And keep farming up the weapon vaults. to approach. I think until I get an extreme magic bow on Joshua, I don't really want to use him to actually melee combat these enemies. But once he has one, he'll be great. Nearby friendly unit under physical attack, take their damage. So. Alright. 
So it means if I physical attack... Ares will fight against this stone colossi. Hmm. Kind of, re I'm not really sure if Shafinia was a better choice than Rene. Looking at this now, but oh well. Too late to change, really. Butterfly dance. One ring AoE. Savage attack. Stuns enemies on defensive terrain. And Thunder Dragon's Breath. AoE. Not a fan of any of these. Savage attack might be the best option to combo for Ares for the stun. But maybe I'll just go Thunder Dragon's Breath. Because at least Shafino can use that. Although he can't. Oh, I don't even have the skill points to equip it yet. Moving on. More weapon vaults for now rather than tactics. Should also probably change my action order actually. Like Liana should probably be last, for example. Oh. No rush for that though. Hmm. 
Don't think this is enough. Almost, but not quite. Unfortunately, I do have Hakaro to Joshua. So, Ares can finish the battle. Red Moon, Dark Robe, or Peacemaker? I think I'll choose Red Moon, even though I don't need it right now, in case I build another mage. So next is a s random skill or random tactic. A random skill or a random tactic? I'm not even sure which ones I need. Hm, whatever. Skill it is. Avoid the uh, catapult. に任せろ。何か手伝いできることはありますか。戦いはまだ終わっていない。俺に任せろ。戦いはまだ終わっていない。スタートです。キリングエス、キリングエス、キリングエス、キリングエス、キリングエス、キリングエス、キリングエス、
I don't use Aquatic Heroes, so Beach Party is useless. Again, Aquatic Heroes. And First Aid is a self-heal spell. Awkward. Maybe I'll pick Aqua Blast of all things? I don't know. That sucked. So, the skills continue to be garbage. Alright, let's move on to Island of Fate. Random equipment and a startup. So there's four dire wolves and a rabid beast in the middle that causes fixed damage when characters within five blocks of it are attacked. Okay, so since they're all cavalry, I'm going to bring. Lancers? Soldiers? Heavy Centurions? Armandius? And let's see how this one plays out with these adjustments. Alright, here we go. So... What is this effect? Ignore class disadvantage. Oh wow! I'm not sure Lancer Soldiers will help then. So what should I do? Want to minimize the number of attacks I take this turn. So let's try the following. Going to Tranquility up here. And... Just have my characters in turn. I'm going to have Liana shift back and drop her summon, which I'm going to place in the north here. And let's have Ares shift down as well. Back. So, what I can do is have Ares end turn on terrain and then noble charge attack at 2 range. And Calandius is going to have to end turn. Let's see. Hakar Horan. And. Just gonna splish the spider elf demon. There. Gets hit by two. Yes, it's gonna get hit by three, I think. Alright, whatever. Landius dies. Don't think there's any way around that one. Alright, 
ご指示くださいそれでターゲットはい俺に任せろそれでターゲットはご命令をそれでターゲットは See,、so、I need to take out that guy next. So, why don't I just heal up my characters for now? Mienna loses a life or takes a hit, sorry. And what I'm going to do is start with Ares. Striking the Dire Wolf. Joshua, follow up? Shepaniel shift. Liana is going to act again. Ares. And Ares can, I guess, do a two range attack here. There we go. All right. So now it's just dealing with the rabbit beast. Which should be very doable, I think. As long as I pay attention to when I can use bursting breath. The secret to this fight is just going to be having Ares fight this guy pretty much one on one. Let's 
解できることはありますかその話なら聞いてみるご命令を俺を信じてくれ俺に任せろご指示くださいはい人思考そして何かお手伝いできることはありますかその話なら聞いているよ俺に任せろ俺に任せろ Nearly there. Go see the class. I. Ore ni makasaro. Nani ka otetsudai kuru koto. Hai. Ore ni makasaro. No, let's have everyone jumping at this point. Start upgrade material, hundred thousand, one thousand deep sea shells, and a new item. Level fifty item. Goddess tier juggler plushie. I think I'll go for the twilight star. All right. This patch of ocean will encounter ocean waves. Enemies affected by ocean waves will become more difficult to deal with. Alright. So I am going to have to revive. Oh, you have to spend one revive count to revive all heroes. Otherwise, I can't use Lendius though. Hmm. Actually, let's try giving the Twilight Star to uh, Joshua, perhaps? Or Shafaniel for better AoEs? Clearly, still need better gear. Let's just use the revive. Oh, there's no heroes that need reviving. Oh, I guess for each section, you don't have to revive? That might be how it works. And you know what? I am going to change my Landius to Lancer class. Because that way he can equip the Throne Guardian. Right. It's better than not having a weapon at all. Also, give some of these weapons to various heroes.
Aqua Blast and Plunder are the questions. Let's just give the Aqua Blast to Ares, as awkward as that is. And go to the next weapon vault. If a friendly unit within two blocks takes damage, damage is reduced by half. If there is a friendly unit within two blocks, damage taken is reduced by half. Got it. Alright, so let's... Wait for them to split up then. And I probably want him to attack so... this. What this means for now is I can probably crush the stone colossi up here. And Ares Noble Charge. And then there was one. Sixty shells now. Wing Shin Guard Peacemaker Spirit Griever. I still don't have a good weapon for Joshua. But at least I can get the Wing Shin Guard to give to Ares, I suppose. Yep, gear is steadily filling up now. Tactics or skills. Upon dying, afflicts the enemy within two blocks with a two debuffs. Attack int defense and magic defense increase by 30%. Heroes take double fixed damage. Alright, here we go. 
指示くださいみんなおっと頑張れ言うだけ無駄だこれをくらえ何かお手伝俺を信じてくれその話ならご命令を何かお手伝はい人思考そして何かお手伝いできるその話なら俺に任せろその話なら聞いてる俺に任せろ Perfect. その話なら聞いているよ。任務を遂行する。With this, Lengiat will guard everyone but the spider demon, so the mage should attack. Yep, perfect. And then I just need to kill off the remaining three. Hero damage dealt, another breezing chant, and crit damage increase. Why don't I go for the defense? Since I am using Landius right now, after all. He has Hard Rock, he has Vanguard, and now he has the defense increase. Might be worth giving him this passive attack increase as well to make him even tougher. Because the more attack he has, the more defense he has as well. So there you go. So hard rock, vanguard, defense, attack. And continue on. Temple of Might. Oh, upgrade station. Good. Equipment upgrades will be quite important. Everything can be based to level 40 now. Let's see. Tactic upgrades? Or max cost upgrades. Okay, let's start with. Okay, there is a max cost I want to increase on Joshua by one. Right, so he has six points. Probably six points for Shafaniel as well. The others don't need six yet. Equipment upgrades. Tactic upgrades.
leave the rest alone and get the equipment upgrades going. Guess I'll just strengthen. Landius is here. Instead of everyone else. Don't know if this is the best way to go about doing it, but um... Yep, let's go for it. At least I have a very, very tanky Landius now. For good or for ill. And Shafaniel can now equip her Thunder Dragon's Breath. Just going to continue to wait on Joshua. Oh, right. I have a star level upgrade as well, which I'll put into Joshua. All right, let's continue. Weapon vaults. Wait, let me retreat. The next location is another weapon vault or a trade harbor. I think I want to get to the trade harbor. More important than the weapon vault there. Right? Because I do have 5,000 of these coins. So let's pick up a skill or tactic. Skill wise, I'm pretty much okay now, now that I look at it. I mean, I could use another skill for Landius, but I think tactics might be the buff to go for. The enemies keep getting stronger in this fight. That's fine. Minna, <laughs> There we are. The faster I kill them, the better it is for me. Follow up attack, Akarori. Oreo sings the cre. Mina, what to gumbore? Oreo sings the cre. Hmm, Oreo sings the cre. Noble charge to start then. Act again, Ares now. Have Spider Elf Queen 
attack the unicorn. I'm going to have Ares attack the Shika Master. And finally, Andius kills the Leviathan. Unicorn suicide. Skeleton suicide. Perfect. Five hundred and sixty more shells. And now another hero passive attack increase. Vanguard attack increase. And an int increase. I think hero attack is most useful for me. I'm curious. Can the character equip two of these? Like, nope. You can't have the same tactic equipped on the same character. Got it. That's fine then. Right. So I couldn't equip a second Vanguard, for example. But it means Joshua can get the passive attack increase. Looks good. Trade Harbor. See what there is to buy. Every time after landing crit critical hit, has 35% chance to increase hero's attack, int, defense, and magic defense by 20% for one turn. Fireball skill. Holy word skill. Instant transfer. Mage holy demon crit chance increase. Heartless requiem. Self-targeting AOE. This one sucked. <laughs> Frankly. Um... I think Holy Word will be good for Shafinho. Maybe I'll pick up a Fireball for Liana, but no, Liana's generally healing anyways. Instant Transfer isn't of great use, but I could pick it up anyways. This tactic is quite useless in my opinion. Increased crit chance. This is another tactic. That when you land a crit hit, you can get increased stats. That might actually be okay for... Joshua? I think it's a short-term tactic as opposed to a long-term keep one. So maybe I'll just pass on this. I think there's definitely better tactics than this one. Because this is ultimately a level 1 store. Let's just buy that. So skip the tactics. Save my points. And... Don't think I actually need Acid Burn, simply because what I've been doing is I've been having Joshua toss out Hyakarorin, 
which is heal reversal. So let's instead give Shafinial Holy Word. Could also give Shafinial Sky Archers, but change the soldiers up a bit. But we'll see. Heartless Requiem is physical damage. Maybe I'll just have... I'm just considering. Might be worth having Landius bring Eclipse to teleport around, right? As a teleportation tank that can steal buffs. And then Joshua for now can have a third AoE Heartless Requiem this way. All right, and I can hold on to instant transfer and plunder. So. Level six. Excitation, mobility, Rene Annihilation or Calamity Throw. Okay, that should, this should be okay overall. Just get started. I think the best way to deal with this might be to simply force Rene to waste her Calamity Throw or just line up my characters. In one really long line. Because I don't know what their action order is at all. They should be fine. That certainly was not what I was expecting, but fine. And Eclipse forward. Probably do quite a bit of damage with that. Perfect. Alright, so act again. Frozen. Good enough. I 
I like this AoE assault. Blessing Roast <laughs> Restores hit points equals to three times casters in to multiple units within the span grants quip After taking action deal one random debuff to enemies within four blow Hmm these are also good skills. Wow, this is actually a tough choice. Being able to mass debuff the enemy can be huge with Ghost. But teleporting characters forward to one shot could also be useful. Attack Blessing can allow you to make sure you one shot. Le Jardin de Iris is also, you know, deal 20% increased damage and take 20% reduced damage. And the teleport forward. So they're all good. But let's just go for the rest. I like the idea of mass debuffing, potentially. Although to make use of it, I'm going to need three points. So let's hold on to it for now, instead of queuing it up. Next battle. I don't have any skills I want to give out yet, but so hero. All I need to do right now is avoid the Dark Elf General, which is actually really easy with the current position. If I hurt this Brickrium, I can only hit two. But I might as well Yaka Aurora anyways. Take your reversal this guy. Wasn't anywhere near as much healing as I thought it would get. That's okay. And they're actually annoyingly spread out. Clips up. Wow, that actually did a lot. This Requiem? Thunder Dragon's Breath. Spider Elf Demon. Oh. Sumeri is a second AoE tank, potentially. Shalinka is another assassin style character. And Angelica can drop another summon. So 
Mary allows her to revive. Shalinka can fly. Both of these characters can revive, right? Sumere can revive via using Phoenix Stance. Shalinka can revive via Eternal Loneliness. Maybe I'll just do Shalinka. Kind of tough choice, actually. I am a fan of Phoenix Dance. Right, reviving tank can be huge. Nah, whatever. Let's just do Shalinka after all. Right now, I'll wait and see with regards to Shalinka. Because I have to start up other characters first. So, let's see. Skill crystal or tactics crystal. Priority is still weapons, so I want tactics. So let's go into the weapons first, then go for tactics after that. Equipment is still my limiting factor at this point. So let's begin. And tank a hit. From the angel Or maybe take two hits. Has got stunned. Oh, I didn't pay attention to the time law. Looks like it's a stunning time law. Uh oh. Yeah, after initiating battle, stuns enemies for one turn. Crap. Whatever. Hopefully that skill is really, really powerful. Act again. And heal. And remove. Works to me. Heartless Requiem's anti air effect is amazing. Elven Belt. Well, clearly I'm getting King's Crown out of these items. The only reason is who gets the King's Crown? Should it be Joshua or should it be Ares? I think I'll give it to Ares, because Ares can always... Summoning is becoming less useful. Hey. 
ご指示ください私が片付けましょうそれでターゲットはご命令をそれでターゲットは任せみんなもっと頑張れ言うだけ無駄だこれをくらえ俺に任せろご命令を人思考そしてご指示ください私が片付けましょう俺に任せろAlready have this hero crit damage increase or hero attack increase. I think I want more of the hero attack increase ones because every hero you use can actually get that effect, right? Like so. Onwards to the next weapon vault. Hmm, cuttlefish. I think I'll try dealing with the cuttlefish in the north first and then. Do it the self after that. Tatakaiwa Mada Wattinai. You don't see that. You don't see that. Teleporting upwards. Sorted it. And then. Yaka Roran. Nanika, what did I take it? There. I think I'm going to have to attack. And actually get Shafino to safety. Because otherwise she's going to attack by two. Whatever. Move up one tile. Heartless Requiem. Alright, 
another Twilight Star. And a Sharon. I mean, I guess I'll get the Twilight Star. I don't have anyone that needs a Gaia's armor right now. So, yeah, let's just add on the Toilet Star accessory that can actually help increase damage output. Okay, yep. Because Shafinio can equip it too. So, gear wise, I'm just looking for gear for. Oh, Shafinio, Vienna, and Joshua now. Next is tactics. Aww. Just a tiny bit of attack off. It's okay though. I feel like maybe I should get AoE skills on Ares as well now. One thing at a time, I suppose. <laughs> I am very much liking this AOE team now that it's been put together. Lancer Infantry Cavalry. Lancer Infantry Cavalry. Defense increase. Why not? This one would be if I use Shalinka. Okay. And this one would be for Landius. Let's just go for Landius first. Keep buffing up the tank. I think I can remove the last skill in favor of this. Alright, let's move on to the Island of Fate. There is a friendly unit within two blocks. Damage taken is reduced by half. So be it. They're actually really spread out to start though. Okay, 
Let's just begin. Start with Ares Striking Rainforce. All right. If I teleport, Landius will kill one and heavily damage the other. Then, Shefaniel can take out Bozo this way. This hind do AOEs cleanse media thunderstorm. Why don't I just walk his path for now? Worked. Interesting. Let's Watch out the Heartless Requiem here. And then... Ares can Noble Charge the Stealth. Shefimiel can Holy Word Hind. Let him at this point. Worked pretty well. Another star upgrade item to buff up Joshua some more. Uller's bow, Hydra bow, and a blood pact. <laughs> I think I'm gonna go for the Hydra bow. Not perfect, but it'll work for Joshua. There we are. Oh, wait. Star up, Joshua. Maximum five, star, maximum star level, and I think we're good. Another after initiating battle stuns enemies for one turn. Start with Ares taking out Leviathan. Vienna act again, Ares to take out the other Leviathan. And 
Which I'm not going to rush because... Landius is not exactly great against infantry. Yeah. Okay, it worked. Wow, Joshua is just incredible right now. Heal spells. Really? That sucked. Okay, I guess I'll pick this spell. Tactics, weapon vaults, weapon vaults. Get more weapons first. I have a lot of good tactics already on all my damage dealers. Wait, what is the ocean law this time? Damage dealt increase and damage taken increase. So let's just wait. Heartless Requiem. And mop up. Battle garb. I'm not using any of these classes though. Could work for Shalinka. Red ribbon. And a tenure robe. Guess I'll get the. Tenure's robe? I want more King's Crowns instead of the Red Ribbon. Right. So... Tenure's Robe works, I suppose. No guarding. So that makes Landius not great here. Still very usable though. Still 
So with this positioning, the archer should attack Landius anyways. And basically kill itself. Oh crap. Thankfully, Shrine Maiden is. Let's start with Heartless Requiem once again. Man, this skill is just smashing through everything. Under Dragon's Breath. Next stage Insidious Pendant Attack and Skill. Another goddess. Oh no, this is a goddess dress rather than the tenyos. Yeah, you know, let's get the insidious pendant. I can give it to Joshua later. Right now, though, Joshua should keep the Twilight Star because it's level 50. Go to the weapon, then the trade harbor. Alright, and this will be the. Hmm. Looks like an annoying time law. They're all getting some kind of buff. Let's see what it does. Damage taken reduced by half. Alright. Yeah, annoying. Which I can mostly remove by doing that. Eclipse, Dispel, so good. I mean, I could have also used Demolish, but uh... That worked just fine. Nope, out of range. Attack against Shafiniel then, and have her demolish. Wow, Shafiniel's not doing all that much damage. Needs more intelligence, I guess. Oh yeah, she doesn't have very good gear, I remember now. It's all like level 20 or 30. And Red Moon. Another Hydra Bow. I already have a Red Moon sitting around. With the Vulnerable debuff. Maybe I'll just pick up another Hydra Bow. And go to the Trade Harbor. Level 2 store! Yes! The Extreme Magic Bow! Wow. Things here are 5... 
significantly more expensive. Let's see. Meteor. When attacking units with hit points above 50%, all hero damage dealt after entering battle increases by 40%. So it's for a single target strike. Crystal healing increase by 40%, so that would make Liana heal a lot more. And Snipe, when entering battle, damage dealt by hero, so ranged attacks, increased by 30%. I'm not entering battle right now, so I don't see the point of those skills. But healing could be good for Liana. Extreme Magic Bow is a must. This would be good for Ares, right? Because I've built Ares for single target. And this would be good for Liana. Mm. Let's just go for Crystal for now. location to increase my skill points. But for now, Island of Fates. When dealing damage with an active skill reduces skills cooldown by one. Okay. So if you don't move into range for them to hit you, you're fine. Grenier's in the top right. Or sorry. Aaron's in the top right. I think I want to take out Lambda first. This is perfect. Because I can take out Lambda, act again, and then probably take out Lester. And then we should be good. Okay, here we go. So. Start with Noble Charge. Act again. And then Aqua Blast Lester. たたかいはまだ終わっていない。油断するな。俺に力を貸してくれ。ごしじきください。それでターゲットは。ね。ごしじきください。ごしじきください。ごしじきください。ごしじきください。ごしじきください。ごしじきください。ごしじきください。ご
指示ください。その話なら聞いているよ。俺を信じてくれ。うん。それでターゲットは。くらえ。ご指示ください。俺に任せろ。戦いはまだ終わって俺に任せろみんなもっと頑張れご命令を。これが私の信じる心です。Here we go. Three, one, two, three. Ore o shin shite kure. Just wait here. Target. Tatakai wa mada owatte inai. Yudan suru da. Sore de. Target. Tatakai wa mada owatte inai. Yudan suru da. Gomeire o. Right, shield bash exists. That's fine, though. So, no, 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 n Joshua is so OP. All right, and that will be it for this video.、Uh, after I pick up one of these skills, Kingdom Defender for every block moved, you can increase your damage by two percent. And if you move 30 blocks, all that's a reset. Dual wield. After landing a crit hit, you heal up. When attacking, attack increases. All enemies within two blocks suffer minus one mobility and cannot guard. I'm not sure which one is actually worth it. Oh crap! <laughs> Didn't mean to pick that! I was. Ah!、Uh... Oh well. I actually wanted to get Wise Veil. To give it to my tank. Oh well. Right. Kingdom Defender. For every block you move, you get increased damage. Two percent increased damage. It's actually not a great one, but guess I'll throw it onto. Aries for now, since I have these skills and they, they're just sitting there otherwise. I'm wondering if I should, who I should give the teleportation skill to as well. Instant transfer, right? It's a self teleport, which could be useful for anyone who's having trouble getting into range, which right now is actually Aries, ironically enough. But we'll see. For now, continue to look for gear. 
Actually, I'm going to stop here, sorry, because this video has gone on for a while. Thanks for watching everyone. Nitro out.